Good day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing the Marguerite Miller Weekly Collage Assignment number 36. Um, but before we get started, I'd just like to say that if you're viewing this video at the end of August and early September 2021, then you might like to head over to my giveaway video and enter the draw to win a little pile of goodies. Here's a quick look at all the goodies that you can uh, win if you uh, enter enter for my giveaway. There's some little decorative items in here, some more decorative items and stickers in this um, packet. Uh, stickers here, cards you can use as journal toppers, pretty cards, napkins, whole bunch of napkins, transfer paper or decoupage paper. And there's also Edith Holden, the whole of August, Edith Holden book pages, which I've included, plus some other collage papers that you could use. German book page with lovely font, um, mathematics book, and a very old uh, music page. So head over to the uh, video. I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, you can enter to uh, win those goodies for your collaging. Okay, let's get started with the CW Planner 36. So we'll just have a quick um, run through the pages that we've done so far. So this book starts with uh, number 29 and number 30, 31 and 32. This one's also 32 and 33, 34 and 35. So we're up to 36. Now I've pre-prepared the uh, <laughs> page for a change. So number 36, something that's dark, textured paper, something round, paper with a repeating pattern, a place, and the bonus is a plane. So for something dark, I'm going with dark chocolate. I thought I'm a, I'm a bit of a chocolate, well, a lot of a chocoholic. <laughs> I found this picture in, I have a few of these, Donna Hay books. They make really good uh, altered books. Uh, so some of the pages that I've taken out, I found this one. So it's going to be on this side, of course. So we'll move this over a bit. That's the something dark. Now I'm not sure if it's staying like that. I just kind of prepared it a little bit um, by tearing the edges, but I haven't fully decided if it's going to be smaller or not yet. Textured paper. I have this little piece that I'm going to use. It's, it came from a birthday card. I just used this new gold ink pad. Oh, I love it. Archival Pigment Ink Brilliance Galaxy Gold. Got this from uh, Spotlight the other day. It's not it's not cheap, but it's just lovely. Yes, it's very, it's very juicy and uh, I love it. So happy with that and it doesn't smell funny. So this is my textured paper. It's quite bumpy. Yeah, as I say, it came from, came from the bottom of a birthday card. Paper with a repeating pattern. So these are kind of like the background papers. However, so I have this lovely gold paper. Um, yeah, I obviously have a thing about gold at the moment. But I was, I don't want to put the whole sheet down, although that's kind of the intention in the end. But I kind of wanted to either leave a white border. No, probably not. Um, and then put this down, but have this paper in there as well to sort of break it up so it becomes a bit of a three layer thing. However, I don't want it just like a frame. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So I have to figure out how to do that. I do want the gold as a frame. So I wonder if I just have it at two places not because if I have it up here it's gonna it's like cardboard well it's not like cardboard it is cardboard hmm okay let me think about that let's cut some I'll cut some pieces off might cut a corner and uh, and then see if I and then I've got to think about how wide I want it I don't want to um, you know have one little white gaps that would be very annoying if I just put it down, it won't matter what size I make this. I could tear it and move it around. Oh goodness! Should I put the whole just put the whole piece down? Well, put, cut that off there and just put it down and be done with it. Or do I just have sections peeking out here and there? So I've got this as well. 
kind of like that so that that section sort of disappears maybe I was also thinking of cutting this out and having this pattern paper show through what do you think about that let me try that now it's a bit shiny but I'm just going to do the last little bit on camera um, I suppose I could have done it by fussy cutting but I thought I'd try this method just to see how it goes so okay all right we'll just put that to the side I don't think I'm going to need it but we shall leave it there just in case all right so we have <laughs> A strange looking piece of dark chocolate and you know it could be that um, parts of this disappear so that it be, just becomes um, in fact we'll have a look I don't know if I want the whole thing see if I have the pattern paper in there then I don't need to have the uh, pattern paper on the edge and I can just have the gold All right, so, and then what I'll probably do is some gold edging on the on this when I decide on the final um, part of it. But that's my dark, that's my pattern paper. Textured. Can't remember exactly what I'm doing with that, <laughs> but I'm sure it'll 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 come back to me. I do I have kind of like had an idea. Okay, something round, place and a plane. I always like to do the bonus if I can. So I have this aeroplane. Oh, I thought it went that way, but that's actually upside down. Darn. The two planes that I've got are all not facing the right way. Very strange angle. Anyway, I did think that, that looked a bit like a runway. So I was thinking about having, having that on there. This one doesn't, I don't think this one works on there. It's kind of weird. Uh, so anyway, they're the two possibilities for the bonus. Uh, what else do we have? Place. I have this one. Of course, it's from Daphne's Diary. I don't think that was going there. Um, something dark. I know that something dark is this chocolate, but I wanted to actually have this kind of like that I don't know about that one yet I've got to get fit the texture paper in but that's not really I'll well, we'll try that there this is my something round I really like that because it looks like it's coming forward at you I might have to fussy cut out the white I think I won't be able to do all the wheels but I'll definitely will look at doing the white so I have all the pieces now something round texture paper something dark so then it's just a matter of what I, extras I want to do. So I was playing around. I wanted to have, well, you know me, I love my butterflies. I wanted to have some chocolate butterflies. So I did look up these ones. I found some brown butterflies, but they don't really look like chocolate. I want them to, you know, it's brown, but well, that was the closest. But it's not, it's very, um, yeah, no, that didn't work for what I was the way I wanted them to look. So I took pages from the book of the chocolate cakes that the book was about um, and I <laughs> I got this recent little little die little die with the butterfly. So it's a little layered butterfly that comes with a little die. Yeah so I just picked that up from Spotlight the other day. Had a bit of a spending moment. <laughs> just felt like some new things to play with. So I wanted to cut the butterfly out of chocolate. Now you can make them layered or you can have them as individual. So I cut them out of these pieces of chocolate cake. <laughs> so they're all chocolate. And what I did was I found it was easier to, that one's smudged. Um, but I thought it was, e it was easier to stamp first with the gold and then cut because some of them, the stamping didn't quite go in the right place. But they're okay, you can't really tell. Because we're just having a few camera issues, but hopefully we can get keep going. Um, now I've decided to glue this down. 
there's a whole piece just inside the borders of the page because otherwise I won't know where I want it to go and I just thought I like it <laughs> so it's going down I can always get more it's a little bit thick it's card so it will bulk up my page but if I have to start a new book before the end that's fine I've got plenty of books I can use okay so let's just get this down and I've got a lovely base to work on well I think it is <laughs> at the moment I've got a bit of a fascination with gold keeping it away from the middle really otherwise I would have had it to the edge on all, all the way around okay it's all bumpy under there and then we have our patterned paper it's got the flower pattern I'm thinking of this color this sort of yellow color is like caramel to go with the chocolate and trying to pick out this bit of caramel color in the actual chocolate I probably won't like this little jagged bit so I think I'll at least take this piece off let's get rid of that I can keep the jagged bit there and then just kind of go across and no, I don't like that probably might need to be torn but and that's just going to go off here like that mm -hmm. maybe not quite like that um see I want to keep this I have, have, have a little thing that I want to put in there oh now I've got this straight edge Where's the piece I cut off? Should keep the pieces. <laughs> I guess you want to put them back. I wonder if I can put it back without that little jaggy bit. Just to sort of. Okay. <laughs> I thought we should just cut the jaggy bit out. All right, whatever. That's what we've got at the moment. Now, so what I wanted to put in here was this lovely little owl. Now, it's not part of the project in a sense because he's brown, but I don't know if that means he's dark. So I'm just going to give him a gold edge. And so he, I think, looks nice in here because I just think he just matches that background bit. I don't know, he's got nothing to do with the planet, with the um, prompts, but I just like him. I know it's already got dark, but I, I really would have liked to use this. I just like it. It was on the, it, from that chocolate, the same, well, different chocolate book. Let me show you this chocolate book. This was a gift for my birthday from a friend who knows I like to do junk journals and I like chocolate. When I opened it, I actually thought it was a box, a bar of chocolate. I really did. Um, but it's not. It's a book. Yeah, gorgeous book with a, with what seems like real chocolate on top. Love it. So she, she knows that I make these junk journals and things and so she thought I could make a journal out of this because, um, you know, I don't particularly want to read a book about chocolate necessarily. I already have a bad enough chocolate addiction. <laughs> so there's some gorgeous um, pictures in here. So I tore a few pages out. One day I'll make a journal, take the take the whole all the pages out and make a journal with this cover. Oh, the cover's already done. And of course it'll have to be, a, you know, a chocolate book. You know, so that's where I got those wonderful images, this wonderful image from, because it has chocolate from all around the world. So, I mean, I've not heard of that brand. Um, it's called Ghirardelli Chocolate. Hmm, I wonder where that is. Okay, I just had to I just had to research Ghirardelli because I've never heard of Ghirardelli chocolate. We don't have it here that I know of. Um, so yeah, it's Italian-born Domingo Ghirardelli was an Italian-born confectioner. Sailed to America, started his business in forget where, sorry, and uh, became very big and famous chocolate factory. Ran it for a hundred years. Well, he ran it for a hundred years. He ran it till 1894, and then he handed it over to his kids. 1892 actually and then he died in 1894 and then he handed it over to his sons to run but um, yeah I don't know what happened during the 1900s but eventually it was bought out by Lint so it's now bought, owned by Lint and partnership with Disney so this is my place I thought Ghirardelli might be a place but obviously it's not it's a it's a person so my place is all these towns 
I think they're Norway. Oh gosh, I hate not knowing. I should look these things up. Anyway, I like the colour scheme because to me it looks sort of milk chocolate, caramel kind of colouring. Aeroplane. Got the yellow one. I quite liked this one because he was more caramel looking. That one's got blue and red on it, so I didn't really want to introduce too many other colours. I like the I just like staying in the caramel sort of chocolate range. Um, okay, we'll just put him up there. Al's going to sit in there amongst those branches, which, well, it looks like branches, but it's actually chocolate. <laughs> so everything that's going to be made out of chocolate. Something round is my main element. So I wanted, I like this because it looks like he's driving off the page. So he's going to come right down there and be kind of just wanting to come off the page. I do need to fussy cut that. Let's remember to do that before I stick it down. Of course, I have to have a butterfly and I want to bring in some of the gold. Um, and I had a bit of a, a bit of a mark on there, so we'll cover that up. So I quite like the butterfly. I wanted a butterfly that, actually that works, where it looks like it's part of the wheel. That was accidental, that that one looks like. <laughs> It looks like it's kind of transparent. Ah, interesting. So that was my um, new die cut, which I don't know if I've already told you all this, so I'll have to cut it out if I did. But I bought a little die and a matching stamp. So I was able to stamp with the gold, the new Brilliance Gold, and then cut the die out. Now it can make it nesting, but I didn't, the paper that, I'm using all the chocolate papers. That's what I was telling you, wasn't it, before I uh, put the camera turned off again. Um, so these, all these butterflies were cut out of chocolate, actually all chocolate. So they may dot around the page. There's a dark one there because we need a dark, we need dark. Um, there's another one. There's two dark ones. They keep trying to fly away. Oh, I like this butterfly. This is another one I made from chocolate dots. All right. So. I wanted to add these extra bits just for a bit of extra interest on the page. We've got to remember our um, textured paper. That's right. I was thinking this might look a bit like a road. At one stage, I wanted it as a runway for the bit, for the plane. Now it's kind of like a bit of road, maybe. Maybe it can go down there. Two dark ones, but maybe I don't need any more dark. I've got plenty of dark on the page, so wherever he is, it's got lost. Oh, I did think something dropped on the floor. No, here he is. Well, this is one. I like this one. This one's stripy. Okay, well, we'll let's add the butterflies last because they're not part of the project. They're just decoration. And let's make sure we've got all the other things that we need. I do like this bit of Cadbury because Cadbury is a chocolate that I eat. So I'm going to cut a piece of Cadbury's chocolate. Right there to start with. And pop it down that white line. Okay, so there's the Cadbury. And so, so I guess it's whether we want the um, the Ghirardelli or the Cadbury. Hmm, the Cadbury's quite dramatic looking, isn't it? If we say we have... I'm just going to cut one piece of this one. I know this one's out of focus, but I just want to see whether I want Cadbury... So I mean, I could just add a piece of Cadbury in with the, uh, the Ghirardelli. That might just work. So which is the one? I think this middle one's the best. It's a bit brighter. We'll probably cut that brown bit off. Hopefully, it'll still look like a 3D piece of chocolate. That's what I'm hoping. Cadbury. Oh yeah. Oh, right. yeah, actually, that doesn't look too bad. That looks like it's kind of jumping out of the page. I'm happy <laughs> because that's what I eat. <laughs> there that goes. I just quite like the Ghirardelli part. Oh, yes, I forgot. I got this. this again, it's not part of the bone thing, but it's so cute. Look at this. I wanted things that looked chocolatey, so I wanted a chocolate looking bird. <laughs> this, this, one, this one looks like it's made from white chocolate. And look at the eyes. That is so cute. Um, I love that bird. I don't really like the plane at all. It has nothing to do with chocolate. 
mind you, that is a bite, but the bite looks like it's made out of chocolate and caramel. So that's why I like the bike. Do we want to sit on the seat? Uh, yeah, I don't mind that. So what I will do, I will, I'm going to, it take me a while, fussy cut, I'll take the white off everything because this hasn't got white, this hasn't got white. So I'm going to take the white off everything, fussy cut that out, and I'll be back. All right, I'm going to start gluing things down, but I don't think I need to sort of uh, be put through that process. <laughs> so I'm going to glue down what I'm happy with, and then we'll come back and add the extra extra pieces that I'm not too sure about. I ended up gluing everything down. Um, I managed to get the, the airplane in. Um, I think where he's just on the uh, chocolate part, the really dark part, he stands out that I can tell what he is. When he was just on cream coloured or this coloured, he, he just, it was hard to tell. Anyway, I stuck him on, so I've got everything now. Um, so, Oh, but I haven't put the... Oh dear. Oh, I've forgotten to do this again. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I, I did write this one out to be a bit smaller. I was thinking I would tuck it in under here. Oh, let's see if we can... Oh no, I don't want to. Um. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a tiny little... I can fold it up and turn it into something you hardly recognise. Oh, maybe I can stick it to another block of Cadbury's chocolate. <laughs> hide it under the chocolate bar. Normally you're hiding the chocolate, but I'm going to hide something under the chocolate. Where's that other Cadbury's bar? This one. Um, we might have to have two Cadbury's and I will put it... As a kind of a flip, maybe. Let's have a look there. <laughs> well, I said I wanted Cadbury's to be in there. Don't like that, maybe. I've got to cut the top of it off because that's not part of it. Could never have enough Cadbury's chocolate anyway, so. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll work. We'll do that. I think I had a piece like that before and it's it's changed its angle, so I don't mind that. So, how are we going to do this? Just tuck it in. Let's turn it into a little tuck spot and edge it with gold. I think so. So, or maybe we'll tuck it that way. Edge it with gold. Yeah, I think that'll work better. I don't think I've got any more of this. Well, I could have used that. I'm always forgetting the words. And I do like to have them in here somewhere because um, when you look back at it or you're showing anyone, Mum and I look at each other's books and then we, then we look at it and go, oh, well, what was the prompts? So you need the prompts to sort of make sense of your picture as to why you, why everything's there. Anyway, I think so. I like having the prompts. I just don't like having them prominent. Um, so, let's see if we can blend it in. This gold's not really coming out. Maybe I should have used my new ink pad. It might be easier to just kind of Wiggly draw it. Yeah, that's better. Let's see what this looks like first. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll just have it as a really, yeah, we'll just colour it in gold so that you can't notice it. <laughs> Colour it in real quick. It probably looks a little funny on the other side. Doesn't matter. I can't see the other side, I just need to refer to it. If I put it on thicker paper, it probably would have been better. 
that thinner paper is easier to slot it in the little slot it in okay all right <laughs> so we just need to make a little tuck spot just up to the cabri <laughs> bar your glue um and the bonus was a plane which we just put up here um i did have the idea of having butterflies going up with the plane and because he looked a bit like a dragonfly so i tried to make a swarm of butterflies with him as a as the lead with the dragonfly but there just wasn't quite enough room to make the formation uh, but I really did want to use these butterflies, even though there's no reason for them to be here. This was covering up a little um, bodgy mistake that I made, and I like the fact that it looks like it's part of the wheel. Um, and it's kind of an unusual place for butterflies, so I think it's quite sweet there. And um, yeah, so then I just added this one here, uh, these two here. I just like them, and I keep I like my butterflies to be. Um, not glued to the page i like them to be three-dimensional you see it's got a little bit of gold in the bike i don't know what that is it's like a feather or something quite weird but i love the caramel wheels i mean it looks like a chocolate bar <laughs> a chocolate bike it's got a chocolate satchel on the um on the handlebars and uh, and the owl is just there because i liked him and i thought he matched in with his little background so that's his little it kind of looks like he's sitting on a tree stump yeah so that's just going to tuck in there oh we don't have a number okay one sec so just need a number um oh, this one's a bit big isn't it i don't think that will work so it'll be on the gold here yeah, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it onto another piece of dark chocolate coloured fab um, fabric. <laughs> chocolate coloured paper. I can find some spare bit. All right, I'm just going to stamp it onto here and see what that looks like. And then I'll go direct. I just don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I don't mind it, actually. Quite like this spongy effect. Not only on the chocolate part. Yeah, I think I can make that work. Let's do that. I need some more numbers. I don't really have very many. I don't have any other other numbers. Oh yeah, oh, that's very bright. <laughs> Came out. Well, it comes out a lot brighter in the camera than what it is in real life. It's a lot more muted in real life. It's very bright. You can get it at an angle that's fairly natural looking. The camera picks up all the sparkles. And I've got this. I know. I just see it is possibly over the top. I know. But I just Liquitex Professional Acrylic Ink Iridescent Bright Gold. I just want to use it <laughs> and look we have these products that's what we're here for isn't it to use them just need to put something there in case I drop gold everywhere all right you know I just want to do dots let's see how they are. they're quite big maybe I should put some on here and then use a little paintbrush that might be sensible Otherwise, I'll get big giant gobs of gold. All right, let's, let's use this little one here. Yeah, look, you don't need much, do you? A tiny bit. So, but where to put it? That is the question. Hmm. This is the scary part, isn't it? Uh, I wonder if I can spatter instead. It's not really a very good spattering brush, though, is it? Oh yeah, that'll work. Probably won't even see it, but at least I've done it. <laughs> it look like specks of light chocolate. <laughs> but it might sparkle a bit. We'll see. Do a little bit more. It's 
quite it's quite expensive but I like it it's it's um it's quite I'd like to some to get into that a little like that that's better yep a bit more up here <laughs> who doesn't love a bit of gold splashes yeah, let's get some different sized ones happening. Okay, don't go mad, Julie. Oh, I like it. It looks good. <laughs> oh, fun, fun. All right, we are finished. I can't put this away just yet. CW planner number 36, something dark, all the dark chocolate. Textured paper here from a birthday card. Something round. We've got the wheels of the bike, the wheel, uh, the light on the front, and the wheels of the aeroplane, and the gorgeous eyes. <laughs> My chocolate, white chocolate, and milk chocolate bird with his chocolate eyes. Um, paper with a repeating pattern in the background, which is sort of to me like caramel coloured. And a place. We have all these places on the signpost. And the bonus is a plane. And the extras are, for no reason, the birds and the butterflies. And the chocolate. But here you go, there's my chocolate and caramel page. Finished. I love it. <laughs> so I will tuck that in there. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you're um, still with me, head over to the giveaway video and uh, subscribe to my channel and make a comment. And you will be entered to win the prize of the goodies for collaging, junk journaling and art journaling that I have um, decided to give away. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.